Hi, I'm Andy Leonard, and today I'm going to show you a comparison between the RD client for Microsoft on an iPad against Hop2 Work on an iPad, run an application called Tally ERP. The first thing we're going to do is open the RD client on my iPad here. Once connected, I just select a host. So I select this RDS demo 1 at the bottom here. Once it connects, now I have a remote desktop to my RDS server. And from here I can access you know, my files and folders, that kind of stuff. And I can also access applications. Today I want to show you the Tally ERP9 application, which is an accounting system from India. So to do this, we double click on the Tally shortcut on the desktop. And we hit maximize. Now the Tally application has opened. The first thing we need to do is select a company in this application. So to do this, you need to press S. So to do this with the RD client, I hit the keyboard at the top here, and then I press the S key. And then I press return. Then I select my company, so I press return, and I put in my password. After putting the password in, you know the company is now open. And as you can see here, you know this application um, is for accounting. And it's got lots of different menus and um, buttons around the right hand side and the middle here. And it very consists of, you know, short key buttons. So, you know, to do various tasks like accounts, uh, info would be an A and accounting vouchers would be a V. And import data would be an O and balance sheet would be B, etc. It's very hard to do these, you know, running this Windows app through the RD client. So to show you how hard it can be, I'm just going to show you a few different steps um, in, in the application. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Accounts Info. So to do this, we need to bring the keyboard up, and we need to press A for Accounts Info. And then, you know, we can select Groups for G or Ledgers for L. But we can't actually see any further down the screen here unless I turn the keyboard off. And now I can see the other options like Voucher Types and Quit. So the only other way to really do this is if you hit the Host at the top here, and then click on the different mouse mode. So click it back to mouse pointer mode. Then press the keyboard. And now you should be able to scroll down the screen. You know, it's quite fiddly. You've got to switch between mouse modes just to be able to, you know, move up and down on the screen. So now we're going to create a group. So we press G and press it return. And again, you know, now we're in this mode, we can scroll up and down. And now we can create a single group. So we press C. So you know now to look at the top of the screen, we've got to try and scroll up, which is quite fiddly. And now if I turn the keyboard off, you'll be able to see the whole screen. Now we can create a group name. So we bring the keyboard up. Now we can type in the group name. Once you type in the name, you press return and return again. And then this list of groups appears on the right hand side. So you need to select you know, what type of group creation it is. So when using the RD client, you know, to go through this list is very hard because you can't go up and down because there's no up and down button um, on this keyboard. So the only way to do it it's a tap on the one you want. So if I go to like London Bank or something here, you know, I can select it, but it took me about three or four attempts. And I can't zoom in really. So if I press the zoom on this RD clamp, which is here at the top left, you know, it's zoomed in to the whole screen, but it's not where I wanted it, you know. So now if I want to go right to where the list was, which is about here, you know, it's very hard to scroll up or down. And if I want to change it to say, bank accounts or something. You know, I have to scroll to the top here, click on bank accounts, take off zoom, and then press the keyboard, and then press return, then bank account is entered. So now the group is added, you can now come out of this screen by pressing the escape key on the keyboard. So you press escape, and again, and again, and then it takes you back to the main screen but again you know to see the whole screen we've got to turn the keyboard off you know it's very hard to scroll around um, so really all in all you know this application is very hard to use in the RD client you know it's all about short key buttons and to do that with the RD keyboard is very hard um, and the zoom is pretty useless so you know now what I want to show you is the same application 
but running in Hop2 Work. So to access Hop2 Work, the first thing to do is go to the Apple App Store and download the Hop2 Work application. Once you've downloaded it, you just press on it on my iPad here. From the host screen, I select the same demo server we used for the RD client, which is demo host here. I then log on and then click on connect. Once we connect, we now have the Hop2 workspace. From the Hop2 work workspace, now press on applications on the left hand side here. Then, it's the same as we did in the RD client, we're going to open the Tally ERP application. So we click on Tally here, do maximize, then the application has loaded. Once the application is opened, you now will notice in Hop2 Work, at the bottom here we have the max control feature. These are short keys that we use within this application that we predefined using the Hop2 control panel on the Hop2 server. So in this tally application, as you can see at the bottom, I've predefined menu and buttons to make the application a lot easier to use. As you saw in the RD client, you know it's very hard to keep bringing the keyboard up and finding the function keys to get around or navigate you know the application. So in this application you can see I've created general, you know, accounts info, accounting voucher, reports. If I click on general for an example, you know, now you can see I've created escape, clear, enter, up, down, quit, yes, no, create. So in this screen here, for example, if I hit down, you know, it will go down through this menu. And if I click up, you know, go up through the menu. So if we do like we did in the RD client, if I select the company here, so I can press enter, and then I press enter again on the company. And then I put in my password so I can bring the keyboard up. Then it logs into the application and into my company data. So now it's at the second screen of the Tally application. You know, again I can bring general up and I can go up and down, you know, through the menus. But also you see here, you know, I've created accounts info and accounts voucher. So if I press on Accounts Info, it will actually do an A, you know, for going into the Accounts Info menu screen. So I click this, you know, now it brings up the sub-menu within Accounts Info. And in my toolbar, you know, I've created quit, groups, ledgers and voucher types, you know, to mirror what's on screen here inside the Windows application. So if I click on Groups, which it does a G, you know, now again it brings me another menu, you know, Create, Display, Alter, or Create, Display, Alter and Quit. So in my toolbar here, you know, I've created another sub-menu where I've got, you know, the same buttons that are replicated in that. So I hit on create, you know, now we'll create a group. And here, like the RD client, I could put a name in, change a different um, account and, and, and add this group to the tally application. So as you can see, you know, a lot easier to use than the RD client. You know, I'd have to bring the keyboard up very often unless I'm inputting editable data. But apart from that, to move around this application, just shows how much easier it is using Hop2 Work, where this max control feature, you know, for the toolbars, makes life a lot easier here. So as we did in the RD client demo, I will actually add a name in here. So let's call this UK Bank 2 or something. Then press return. Then press return again. So in the RD client, when we have this drop-down box on the right-hand side, it's very hard to go up and down because there's no up and down arrow on the keyboard. So you have to use your finger on the, in the middle of the screen here, which is very hard to move between the different values. So as I showed you before, you know, if I click on general, you know, I've created an up and down. So I can easily go up and down and select one from the list. So if I go through these and press enter on each, it asks me to accept. So I can just press on my yes button I created. And then that group is added. To exit out the application, you just need to press on the escape button I created here. It asks me to quit, I just click on yes. You know, now it takes me back to the main menu. So from here, you know, we can go using my up and down buttons very simply, you know, to any of the other menus like balance sheet for example, if I press enter. You know, it now shows me the balance sheet for the company. So all in all, you know, using Hop2 Work and these type of Windows applications is so much easier than using the RD client. You know, especially with this customized toolbar at the bottom, where you can really navigate this around this application like it's running on a Windows PC.
To finish off the video, there will be a slide showing you various links to useful information regarding HOP2 work. Thank you for your time today and hope the video was informative.